My dear Libra, hello, how are you, honey? Welcome to the reading. I'm hoping that you're well. My name is Stavitz. Welcome to Stavitz Tarot. Libra, we're going to be tapping onto your energy to see what is happening for you, honey. And personal readings are being offered. If interested, in send me an email. It's in the description box below. And you can now become a member to my channel by clicking the join button. And let's see what is the energy for our dear Libra. And what is happening, Spirit for Libra? What do you need to know right now? Oh my goodness, Libra. Ten of Cups. A lot of happiness. Wish fulfillment. Let's see what's going on in your reading, honey. I want you to know that you deserve a lot in your life. You deserve... You deserve love. You deserve fulfillment. You deserve... A partner who's going to be there for you, who's going to be all in, is what the Spirit is saying. Now, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse, which I will get to. Um, some of you could be connecting with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have Capricorn energy as well here, but strong water in your reading, okay? I wonder whether you've been... Uh, You've been kind of focusing on a connection here or focusing on something turning out positively for you, focusing on a connection maybe coming true, focusing on being with a person. There's just something about you manifesting love and you manifesting fulfillment and companionship in your life, which is coming true for you. Now, some of you, I do want to tell you that you are an attractor. You attract a lot within your life. And I want you to know that whatever connection that is stagnant right now, let it be stagnant. Like, you don't have to try to kind of drag someone in your life. And when I say let it be stagnant, I don't mean like keep up with it. I don't mean cope with it, keep entertaining it. What I mean is that let it go. Because there's something about you wanting to like make a connection work out when the truth is it should be working out on, or on its own. You know, you don't have to push a person to be with you. So some of you, you could be connecting with an energy that you're kind of being forgiving towards. And there's an energy of, you know what, I'm going to keep up, keep, keep putting up with this because I feel like it could go somewhere. Or some of you, it's like you're entertaining something, but at the same time, you're not really fulfilled or happy. There's something about that which I will tap onto. But I keep wanting to tell you, you should not... Be skeptical in terms of the red flags or whatever type of sign or um, pattern you see that you don't like. You might need to address something and you might need to really listen to your intuition. Yeah, it's like, yeah, I want love, but would I just have it with anyone? I do want a relationship, but would I just like have this relationship with any person? Do I care that they would be respectful towards me? Do, would I care... If this person is going to be listening to me and be there for me. Um, so we're going to see who's this person coming through towards. Oh, I see. There's something about you wanting something. And what you're actually experiencing right now on the 3D could be kind of different than what you want. Some of you, let's say you're wanting a loving relationship. But what you're actually dealing with is kind of stagnation, I want to say. There could be a connection for some of you. There could be a person that you've been back and forth with. And there's this energy of nothing's really changing or you feel like things are not really moving forward. So we're going back to what I said. It's like, why are you trying to make something work when it's just not working? We're going to see more about this, though. Tell me more in regards to this person's feelings. Some of you could be connecting with someone who's quite secretive or mysterious. Or this is also someone who, again, it's like there's a lack of effort or action here that I keep noticing in your reading. Um, how does this person feel? Yeah. Oh, my God. Ugh. You could be connecting with someone who kind of plays games. Or this is also speaking of... Unless they get what they want, they're going to be giving you the silent treatment. Again, there's a lot of like push and pull. You could be connecting with somebody who kind of manipulates you or is manipulative. And again, something you've noticed because of their communication and their actions. 
This person could have been breadcrumbing. Again, overall, I'm not getting a very good energy, Libra. And some of it's interesting. I feel like when, when we're in something, we, we might not really notice what is happening because the energy that we're exuding is the energy of love and we're kind of blinded by our own energy that we're exuding. You know, So let's say if we have feelings for someone and we're with them, but they keep hurting us, we might not even feel that they're hurting us because, again, our own energy and our own love is kind of blinding us. So it could be the same thing happening here. So you could be connecting with a, an earth sign, Aries, Gemini, Pisces. Again, this is some kind of a confirmation. This is not a prediction. So, um, yeah, your advice is to not make try to make something out of something. Your advice is to not, you know, beat yourself up to be with someone, especially if they're not even trying to make changes or be with you. Straight up. What is the outcome? What is the outcome, spirit? What is the outcome here? Let's see. Radio Libra. Some of you, I feel like either you're going to be starting to ignore someone here, or this is also speaking of you calling your energy back. Yeah, there's a, there's definitely this element of I'm returning to myself, or I'm going to be focusing more on myself. Um, you could be also getting busy with like, I don't know, like you could be going out, working out. Some of you could be also getting a new car or traveling. There's just a certain energy of I'm going to be focusing on myself. The outcome is you ignoring someone or you kind of being more like withdrawn from them in order for them to kind of come to you and put in more effort. You're making someone miss you. Strong Virgo energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo. Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, yeah. Strong water in your reading. I don't know if this is something that's already been happening or not, but some of you, your advice and the outcome is you kind of letting something play out on its own. So I don't know if you've been trying to kind of, let's say, control something, you've been stressed out, oh, what if like this connection ends? Or what if this person leaves? Or what if they do that? The spirit's like, so what? Who cares if it's meant to be, it will be. Why are you so pent up about this, basically? Is the energy. Yeah, you could have been connecting with someone who's intentionally not making up their mind. I said it. Strong Virgo, fire energy. Gemini, some of you, Libra, you could be connecting as well here. Yeah, I really feel like for a lot of you, this is about you wanting for someone to make up their mind or make a decision about you and they just haven't been. And I, it's interesting because in your reading, the way I'm seeing it, it's like they can make up their mind. They can kind of make a decision, but they've just been kind of like putting it off. They just deliberately have not been making that decision or choice, basically. Your message, your advice, Libra, is to definitely call your energy back, honey, and to also know your own worth and know who you are, you know, and do not accept breadcrumbs, basically, is what the Spirit is saying. Yeah. Yeah, the Spirit is like, so what? You know, if this happens or if that happens, so what? You're going to be fine either way. You're being protected. Um... So let's see if we have any other messages for you, Libra, before I do the oracle portion. I mean, we're going to be doing the oracle portion. Let's see. Spirit, is there anything else that Libra needs to know? I just heard why settle for something when you can have something even more than that or when you can, when you can have so much more. See, we have leaving and conquest, some of you. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm saying. Like Capricorn, some of the Aries you could be connecting with as well. Aquarius and Taurus. You're making somebody miss you or you're making somebody realize what they're missing out on. You know what I mean? I don't know if you're leaving them or I don't know if you're kind of going your own way. But in your reading, all I'm seeing here is that you're making somebody work for you. And they need to make up their mind about you. It's like... You know, I'm not, you're not, you're not putting up with someone being undecided forever, basically. 
Spirit, is there any other messages for Libra? Any Anything else that Libra needs to know? Really being called to go also with this Kipper spread for you. Some of you have just been ignoring some things about this person. I don't know why this message keeps coming up, but you've been ignoring. Like, I don't know if you've been breadcrumbed or it's like this person comes and goes. You've been kind of like putting up with something that you don't have to put up with is something I keep noticing in your reading. And for a lot of you, this is about like a lack of effort or someone being manipulative that keeps coming through in your reading, okay? Or you kind of being addicted to familiarity or that sense of rush instead of like the connection being healthy. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like what's going to happen here, Libra, is that you're going to be, again, more focused on your own health and your own well-being here, and you're going to be less worried about someone, and you're kind of drawing somebody in. I also feel like a lot of you could be either traveling or you could be having different plans. Um, you could be also making a decision that you've been putting off as well. Like, I don't know if this is in regards to like a, like a court matter, or this could be about like... Maybe let's say you've been wanting to start up a business or move or have a trip. There's something about you uh, rather like sticking to your own plans and living your life to the fullest and stop worrying about someone else basically. So yeah, see we have make the effort, my goodness. We have make the effort card coming through flirt and heart to heart conversations. The spirit is saying um, that... In order for a connection to work, there needs to be a sense of effort and flirting and chemistry won't be enough. So for a lot of you, Libra, I really feel like you're drawing somebody in. Um, and I don't mean it in a way that you should deliberately pull back. But especially if you know that this is your reading, that you've been putting a lot of effort, you've been going the extra mile and making something work. This is your time to let the other person put in as much effort as you or come to you. Yeah, like, it, I, I just feel like you've been stressed about something. Like, you've been stressed about where the connection is going, where the spirit is like, they should be the one wanting you. Hello, you know? <laughs> That's just very specific. Some of you could be also connecting with someone who talks a lot. It's like talking a lot, but no action or something about that. Sweet talker, maybe. Any other messages for right dear? Yeah, there's been a person, there's, there's been something quite on your mind and the spirit is like, this is taking way too much space in your head. Or it's like, this, this is even taking way too much time, you know, as well here. Yeah, I feel like um, Libra, your advice, honey, is to definitely start to I want to say be open. Okay, so for some of you, if you've been waiting around for this person to take action, your advice is to actually not stick around. I'm being honest. And to go your own way. Basically, you could be also connected with the Pisces or water energy. You're going to be experiencing someone here coming through towards you. And it's like... They've been wanting for you to not be open to other people. It's like this person wants their cake and eat it too, you guys. And the spirit is saying you have to live your life the way you want. And nobody should dictate the way you live, basically. Again, I keep wanting to say if you've been in the hopes of something or someone offering something to you, the spirit is like go your own way. And if they... If it's really meant for something to happen, it will happen. If it's really meant for you to, let's say, get an offer from someone, they will give that offer to you. You don't have to beg for it, basically. You know what I mean? This is, like, so specific. Spirit, do we have any angel messages for our dear? I feel like you're connecting with someone, Libra, where they have to know your worth. Like, sooner or later, they will know your worth. But it won't happen if you keep trying to like convince them of your worth. You know what I mean? Like if you're constantly in someone's face saying, this is how much I'm worth. 
or you should be doing this and this and that for me because this is who I am. They won't believe you, but you have to rather show it with your actions than words, basically, is what the Spirit is saying. So yeah, somebody's going to realize your worth either way, and somebody's going to realize it, that you do have a lot of options or that there's a lot of eyes on you, basically. I feel like even you could be going through a glow up or you could be kind of connecting with other energies or keeping your options open at a certain point. You're gaining your power back. I'm also hearing there's many fish in the sea. So a lot of you, the spirit is saying, <laughs> there's a lot here. And you are meant to be enjoying your life and enjoying yourself. And stop worrying about someone. All right, let's see what is happening. Yeah. Nine of thoughts. Stop being so hard on yourself and turn your thoughts toward the positive. There's no need to worry. Anticipating the worst isn't helpful. Know that heaven will provide a solution if you're experiencing sleepless nights or anxiety over a challenge in your life. Release the problem to your angels. The spirit's like chill and <laughs> relax, okay? It's, it's going to be okay. A lot of you, you've been just so stressed about something and spirit's like, you are like completely losing control of yourself and you are letting your emotions take over, letting your fears take over. And the spirit's like, no, calm down. Everything's fine. Everything's going to be okay. You just keep watching out for yourself while I'm watching out for you, right? We also have six of emotion. Memories can fill your heart with many emotions. It's important to remember your past accurately without seeing it as better or worse than it was. People you used to know may return to your life unexpectedly. Children could be an important issue or you may need to reconnect with your own inner child. Some of you could really have like certain issues from like your childhood or maybe abandonment, maybe anxiety. I don't know what this is or a certain way that you were treated as well. And the spirit's like, you are healing this within you. And the spirit's like, let people come to you, basically, Libra. Let's, let people realize what they're missing out on. Let people realize your worth by missing you. And stop, like, trying, basically. Stop trying to be always there, you know, or trying so hard is what the spirit is saying. Some of you definitely could, al could also have water in your chart. Like, heavy cancer energy or water, like, Scorpio Pisces coming through, too. That you could have within your chart or even earth maybe maybe moon rising venus so this is all i have for you my dear libra i do feel like there's an energy that's going to be connecting with you because they miss you or long for you but yeah again you're the one in control never forget that you can have everything that you wish for by focusing on it and you deserve a lot for sure so personal readings are being offered if you're interested in having a personal reading with me you can write to me to my email which is in the description box below i'm sending my kiss if it did help you this reading do like share, and subscribe to my channel and i'll be seeing you next time bye bye honey take care